Hello students, welcome to my channel. Topic for discussion is structure and types of teeth. Before going to the topic, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Like, share among your friends and comment. Teeth have evolved from denticles which are released from armor near the margins of the mouth as ossification in the integument. A typical mammalian tooth can be distinguished mainly into two regions, crown and root. The crown is the exposed part of the tooth and situated above the root. In the old age, it is generally subjected to wear. The root is the hidden part in the gum which is anchored in the socket or alveolus of the jawbone. The tooth encloses a pulp cavity that contains blood vessels, nerves and connective tissue. The junction of crown and root is called neck. There are three kinds of tissues in a typical tooth. You know, they are enamel, dentine and cement. Unworn crown is covered by a thin, very hard glistening layer called enamel. It is the hardest and heaviest tissue of the vertebrate and is composed of crystals of hydroxypatite. Enamel is ectodermal in origin and totally acellular. Below enamel, a hard dermal bony substance layer is formed called dentine. It is harder than bone but softer than enamel. The ivory is a specialized dentine and hard creamy white substance found in elephant, hippopotamus, walrus and norwales tusks. The human dentine is composed of mainly calcium phosphate and fluoride 66.72%, organic matter 28.01% and calcium carbonate. The root of tooth is covered by a thin layer of cement. Presta petrosa and a vascular peridental membrane of strong connective tissue fibers called Sharpie's fibers. Cement is a non-vascular bond and usually acellular. It is softer than dentine and is rich in collagenous fibers or collagen fibers. It wears rapidly when exposed. The pulp cavity is lined by a layer of bone cells called odontoblast. Both dentine and cement are mesodermal in origin. Next we can see different types of teeth seen in mammals. In heterodon condition, the teeth can be distinguished into four types. They are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. The first type of teeth is incisors. They are situated anteriorly on the premaxilla in upper jaw and tips of dentaries in lower jaw. The conical, single rooted and monocuspid used for cutting or cropping. Incisors may be totally absent in sloth or absent on upper jaw in sheep and ox. In rodents and lagomorphs, the incisors are chisel shaped, open rooted and continue to grow throughout life. Next type of teeth is canines. Canines lie immediately behind the incisors. They are single in each half of the jaw. They are large, pointed, long crown with a single root used for piercing and tearing the flesh of the prey. Example, you know, dog. Sometimes the canines are used in holding the prey, mainly seen in carnivorous animals. In rodents and lagomorphs, canine is absent, leaving a space in between incisors and premolars called diastema. So what is diastema? Is the space between canine and incisors in rodents and lagomorphs. Any gap within the dental series is called a diastema. That means any uh, gap or free space between dental series or in the arrangement of teeth is called diastema. In horses, the canines are relatively small. In carnivores like dogs, tigers and lions, the canines become spear-shaped and used for piercing and tearing the flesh. Canines are generally used for holding and piercing in relation to both feeding and fighting. Next teeth is premolars. Following the canines, there are premolars or bicuspid teeth. Have two roots and two cusps. The premolars are used for grinding the food materials. Next and the last teeth is 
molars molars lie behind premolars they have two or more roots and several cusps molars are used for crushing food premolars and molars are collectively called cheek teeth in carnivores the number of cheek teeth is often reduced and in some cases for example in physipedia last upper premolar and first molar in lower jaw are modified into chisel shaped sharp cusp called carnassial teeth used for cracking bones and shearing tendons the molars in each jaw of man are called wisdom teeth and its eruption is often delayed next is the cusp patterns of cheek teeth the molars contain many cusps on their surface the cusp are raised tiny structures or ridges on the occlusal surface the cusps are called cones depending on the number and shape of the cusp molars are recognized in different names dear friends thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe my channel